Hello, Americans. And other friends, subscribers around the world. Back here, man. So this morning, it is chilly. Chilly this morning. This is the last, uh, I think this is the last morning we're supposed to get uh, below freezing. We're supposed to get some rain, snow mix. Snow's coming in. But uh, this morning, I think what I'm going to do after it warms up a little bit is move this blue barrel, you know, it's a planter. The rack and some wood, and then uh, that bench, man. That's that old uh, mercantile bench, and I want it out here. But uh, I think I'm going to clear this and bring, you know, and start working on getting that trailer over here so that I can clean it out. Because cleaning it out over here would be a lot, a lot better. There's a lot of stuff for sale stuff in there, and then there's a lot of personal personal stuff in there that I need to get out so I can start working on that trailer but I want to get that trailer here and then I'm going to probably put the chicken house tra the one I'm turning into the chicken house I'll probably put here where the truck is so I've got to do some shuffling around here of trucks the hillbilly shuffle so that's what uh, as soon as it warms up a little bit man right now right now I'm just going to go drink some more uh, coffee Yes, that there, little hillbilly shuffle. So, shuffling around. I'm gonna put the white dodge probably back in here, but I wanna wanted that cleared, and then I wanna leave this clear over here because that blue barrel and stuff's gonna go out to that garden area. So I wanted to leave a place for it, and then. Uh, once I get that stuff moved, then I'm going to go see what it's going to take to get that, the first trailer pulled up here. I know the second one, actually all, both of them probably need for air in the tires and stuff, so let's we'll see, uh, see how far we get with that today. Just opened my brand new battery from High Boy. I'll tell you what, man. High Boy's a good dang company, man. Ooh, and it's all charged up. All charged up and ready. So, uh, man, it is cold, dude. It's a good thing it has a charge. That FedEx, they must have left it on that FedEx truck all night. But anyway, so we're going to see how this one does. Next ride out. Alright, so I'm gonna have to bring it out of the trying to get this trailer uh, pulled out the exploder to see exactly what I had to do. So I'm gonna pull back up there. I think I'll just bring a floor jack out and try to jack that up. Try to air tank with some air. Get these uh, 
get this pallet off of here. I think I did that. Just, oh, I got it screwed. Get this thing ready to move and get this thing up closer so I can start cleaning it out and get her ready. Look at that whoop de doo in the roof there. Huh? Grab the high, line, high lift right out of the. Oh. Right there. <laughs> that tire's up. This other one's up. Hey, even that tire's up. Both tires are up. That's <laughs> dude after uh, sitting there for. Ooh, dude. That's probably been there. I don't know. At least five years. It's been sitting there, so I'm pretty excited to get get on there. Just like that. Now it's up here. Uh, I can start doing things to it. First of all, first thing I got to do to it is clean it out, and then uh, get some air in them tires. Get it on some uh, stabilizer jack so it's all level because you can see it's leaning quite a bit. And then uh, make this a uh, little camp trailer, man. Or bugging out one. I haven't quite decided yet. Got it over here, man. Light behind me. I look like an angel. <laughs> so, I'm in the process, man. I've already burned probably, oh, I don't know, 20, 20 or 30 books of magazines. They are, uh, there's a lot of wasted stuff, especially inside, just inside the door. You know, because this window is completely knocked out. So, uh, I need to put something over it now. Maybe four, because this, uh, that storm's doing, man, man. It's pretty dang cold. It's drop temps everything out here. But, working on this for a little bit. That's one, uh, it's a good example. Nowadays, more so than back in the, you know, I think this trailer's, I'll have to figure out, I think it's the early 70s. But uh, nowadays, your uh, your trailers. Oh, this thing's going freaking dead. Okay, so that battery went dead, of course. So what I was getting at is this the perfect example, especially in these older ones. See how thin that insulation? I mean, dude, that's uh, basically nothing. You know, that's. That's some insulation for, you know, if you're doing some summer camping or, you know, maybe in the fall as long as you got a good heater and everything in here. These days, and I don't know how long they've been doing it, but now they actually have a four-season camper. And uh, they have a three-season, too, which I guess the three-season would be, um, you know, fall, spring, and summer. You know, it's because it's not as insulated and it doesn't have insulated pipes. Where a four season trailer, if you get a four season, that's what Kevin, excuse me, what Kevin D bought. And it's got insulated pipes, thick insulation in the walls, you know, everything. But this, you know, and all these old vintage ones, you know, they're not, uh, they're not, not well insulated. So, that's something that you definitely want to consider, man, if you're planning on living in this thing year-round. So what I'll do, 
I, I don't know what I'm going to do till I get all this crap out of here, how far I'm going to take it, you know, for um, skinning it and, you know, down to like this. But all this will get built out, you know, to there and I'll insulate, insulate it with, you know, thicker insulation. I don't know if it go as far as R19, but it'll be definitely be insulated way better than it is now. So I just wanted to point that out because, man, why that insulation's hanging there, it's a good time to show it. And then what I've done, in, or done in a lot of the ones, was used, uh, you, you know, you can get it, you have to, it's expensive, man, but it's that foam board insulation, you know, and you can get it in all different R ratings and everything, too, so. And this stuff, man, this is, this is about as good as, uh. About as good as that insulation right there, that styrofoam. I used that a few times, but it's not all that great. So today, or this is the next day, man, I ended up doing, pulling out a few things, man. The um, temps and the wind. Good morning, Miss Kitty. <laughs> but today, the uh, or yesterday, the temps and uh, the wind. And the dang wind. Right now it's about, you know, I don't know what time it is, 8 30, 9 o'clock. Uh, the temp, it's 32 degrees right now, but no wind whatsoever, man. And that makes uh, all the difference, dude. That wind's a killer. And they've changed the uh, forecast now to uh, chance of showers today. I and maybe it was snow tomorrow or the next day, mixed snow and rain. I can't remember what day that was supposed to be that. But as long as this weather stays off, no wind, all that, I'm going to, and I'm not going to film a, wait a minute, dang shadows, uh, I might film a little bit once I dig into it and get a little ways into that trailer. But I thought I'd end this video and show you, you know, one of these other trailers. I don't think I've ever showed the inside of the, what I call the bunkhouse. Ooh, look at that. I need to clean it some. Miss kitties. But uh, I didn't get just get a, hi boy just sent me another battery. So we're going to have to see how that, that does. I may end up going for a ride later today. Okay, now this one, this is the one I call the bunkhouse. I've got these carpets. You know, they're just the squares. You can actually stick them. I think Carmine have stuck some of those. But uh, the floor is squishy here, so I've got to repair that. You know, this is just made out to bed all the time. And it's got a big old thing on it. You know, and then the counter and all that. And then... See this one, you can see all the holes. This I have to finish. But this is the same thing down to the or down to uh I'm probably gonna do this with the other bathroom in that one. Because you don't need bathrooms, you man, for, for peeing and all that. You got them what's it called? Them luggable loos for bath for toilets. Amazing. So this, you know, it needs the floor fixed. And then you can see right here, this is the insulation that was in this. So this, just, well, you can't really see that good. But this is more of a, uh, you know, I don't know, three, at least a three season, maybe more. But this is, you know, a lot thicker, a lot thicker insulation than that thin, paper thin crap in that other one. I thought I'd just show this, and then the story behind this trailer, if you remember. <laughs> Gotta get it all situated. Now this trailer, this was actually Kevin's. He lived in it for, well, he went away to college, you know, and then it was here, because he'd come back in the summer and work for the Forest Service, and 
So he's basically until he got married. So how many years is that, man? Basically, he, when we moved on to this property, that's when we set this thing here. And you know, we didn't even. Well, we put a I put a snow roof over it. I can't even tell you how agitating <laughs> these batteries are. So anyway, man, I don't even know where the heck I was when this thing conked out, but the uh, originally Kevin had this trailer. Like I said, man, when we first bought this piece of property, so it's not man, 11, 11 or something years ago, 11 or 12 years ago. He moved this on, we blocked it everything, and put a snow shelter over it, and that, so that was a long time ago, and then he lived in it, um, sometimes full time, just depend on what he was doing in his life, and where he was at, sometimes there for a while, he was up in Moscow going to school, he was down in Ontario going to school, and... You know, in between. Anyway, so he kept it until uh, Volk Bigfoot. <laughs> um, he kept it up till he got married. So probably about a year ago. You know, and what we'd do was when he wasn't here. You know, it's like flu, especially Kara when she's doing uh, you know, when she's plowing and stuff like that because she don't live in in our county but she works in our county and she plows the roads and stuff so she has you know the nights where there's a big chance of snow she'll just stay here and so it's kind of been a bunkhouse man you know um old muskrat when he came down i told him he could he could stay in it but he ended up having a trailer anyway then a year ago or two years ago whenever the heck it was i guess it's probably two years ago Kevin, you know, got his stuff out and um, ain't going nowhere because there's a roof, roof built over it, not not made so that it could come out of it. So uh, he, you know, just told me I could have it, and so now I'll finish it. Which you know he was supposed to finish it. He was supposed to side it and do all that stuff, and then we we're gonna finish and put a floor out here and everything. So that's all stuff, and then I need a porch, or uh, at least a door cover, a patio cover, just a small one to go over the door to extend it out, because, man, it drips right down on you when you're coming in. But anyway, this is, uh, this right here is, you know, it, it's still got a stove. Well, I guess he took the stove top out. Well, I guess that stove's gutted, actually. I, he, I didn't know he did that. Anyway, you can replace that, but I mean, you get this kitchen back to working easy. You know, got a TV, but this right here, man, would be a pretty nice little little home if you didn't have one. But like I said, I keep it, man, I call it the bunkhouse, but mainly it's for my kids. You know, when Kevin, Kevin and McKay will come down, you know, and be hanging out and stuff, and they'll stay in it. Um car when she needs to she'll stay in it when tim's off doing something or hunting or whatever he's doing it katie joe will stay in it so it's mostly just a uh bunkhouse for my kids but just another idea of how uh you know how you can do a camp trailer and make it more you know more permanent you know though this one you know we call the bunkhouse all that and you know put this cover snow shelter over it and pretty, pretty nice still got some stuff to finish and all that get it all covered up and locked in but that's it man so that uh there's a little bit more on camp trailers and travel trailers and all that and i'll we'll probably see how far we get going with that other one and maybe that'll be tomorrow's tomorrow's video maybe i'll be riding my bike who know who knows what i'm doing man i just take it hour by hour good lord willing and them creeks don't rise
We'll be back again tomorrow. Thank you.